So in this type of question, we've got a simply supported beam with a reaction RA and RB. Now, to solve this type of question, it requires taking moments. Now remember, a moment is equal to force times distance from the fulcrum. Now, if we were to take moments around this point, then RA would have a zero moment because its distance from the fulcrum would be zero. So we could ignore RA. <clears throat> so if we start by taking clockwise moments, you will have the 10 kilonewton force multiplied by one meter plus the 20 kilonewton force multiplied by the total distance of the fulcrum, which is two plus one, which is three meters. That then becomes 10 kilonewton meters plus 60 kilonewton meters, which is equal to 70 kilonewton meters. Now if we take anti-clockwise moments, I'm gonna have uh, this external force and this reaction in play. So the five kilonewtons multiplied by two meters, distance of the fulcrum, plus RB multiplied by the total distance, which is two plus two, which is four meters. This then simplifies to 10 kilonewton meters plus four RB. <coughs> so because this beam is stationary and not moving or rotating, the clockwise moment must be equal to the anti-clockwise moment. So we can say 70 kilonewton, kilonewton meters is equal to 10 kilonewton meters plus 4B. Uh, we transpose this equation, move this over to this side, so 70 minus 10 will be 60 kilonewton meters is equal to 4B. Uh, then uh, if you divide by the 4, we'll be then left with RB is equal to 60 kilo newton meters divided by 4 meters. The meters cancel and you're left with 15 kilo newtons is equal to RB. So then you've got two possibilities now to work out RA. You could either do the same by taking moments around the other end or we could do a bit of a shortcut and we could say the upward forces must be equal to the downward forces as the beam is not moving so <clears throat> so the upward vertical forces is RA plus 5 kilonewtons plus RB But we know that RB is 15 kilonewtons. And that is equal to the downward force, which is 10 kilonewtons plus 20 kilonewtons. This then becomes RA plus 20 kilonewtons is equal to 30 kilonewtons. Therefore, we can transpose 30 to take 20 is 10. So therefore RA is equal to 10 kilonewtons. <clears throat> so then uh, we could do a quick check. So if, if RA is 10, that's 5, and RB is 15. Uh, 15 plus 5 is 20, plus 10 is 30. The downwards force is 10 plus 20 is 30. Therefore I think we've got the right answer. If you wanted to be really thorough, you could take moments around this point which would then calculate RA and then use this as a check to make sure you've got the right answer.